Hello, in today's short and sweet, we're going to be discussing what I call charity saves from death. But I'm not going to be sharing with you the passages in the Talmud. They may have heard it before with the wedding, with the snake and the pin and all that. I'm going to share with you a different source. Many times, a person will be going through life and you'll find when you interact with people, you'll see that different opportunities to do somebody a favor or a chesed come your way and you find it annoying. People who are not like the Chafetz Chaim from birth and stuff like that, most normal people find that there are opportunities to do a mitzvah or a kindness or a favor for somebody else, and you don't feel like doing it. You might feel annoyed. You might feel like you're being pestered. And you might say, listen, the Chafetz Chaim maybe didn't feel annoyed by doing such a thing, but I'm not the Chafetz Chaim and I feel annoyed. And it does happen that some people feel this way sometimes. And it's not ideal, but it is a natural emotion. So I'd like to speak about it for a moment. How do we feel like this? Here's a scenario somebody told me the other day. He said to me that he gets annoyed. His words were annoyed. He says, sometimes I'm at home. It's seven at night. It's eight at night, nine at night. I'm just getting home from a long work day. I'm you know, getting comfortable. I'm taking off my shoes. I'm going to eat my dinner. And I hear a knock on the door, a ring at the doorbell. And there's a mashulach, a tzedakah collector who wants to come and, and tell me about the problems. And I don't really have much money to give anyway. And then I give the guy a dollar. And then he says it wasn't enough to give a dollar. And a, a whole tyra. He says, well, you know, what, what should I ignore? Not, I'm, this is, I'm frustrated. I'm annoyed. I'm annoyed. What does everybody want from me already? So sometimes a person takes an opportunity to do chesed, a kindness lightly, but from the Torah perspective, it's a grave mistake and we should never think of it as something small. And I'll explain to you why. Sometimes the chance to give tzedakah or do a kind deed might be from Shemayim, from heaven, almost like a divine life raft that is thrown your way. And I'll explain. There's a great, a great, a great rub, his name was Atoldus Yaakov Yosef. A great Rav, and a couple hundred years ago, he wrote in his commentary on the Chumash in the book of Vayikra, if you want to look it up, it's on page 270, he wrote the following idea. He says, sometimes a person, Ruvain, Leah, Yaakov, Rachel, Sarah, Brian, sometimes a person might be in trouble, might, God forbid, be in trouble and have some kind of pipe in the pipeline from heaven, some kind of trouble destined to come their way. In Shemayim, in heaven, they may have determined that this person, that person, this person is meant to have a certain kind of problem or adversity, God forbid, or a sickness or a, a, an illness, or something, something negative is coming your way. So says the Taldas Yaakov Yosef, in Shemayim, in heaven, what they do is they say, you know what? We reviewed your bank account. You don't have enough merits to cash in to avoid this problem. So says the Tolz Yaakov Yosef, what they do in Shemayim in heaven is they actually will create for you an opportunity to do chesed or to give tzedakah or some other good, kind, worthy, proper deed and they will present it to you down here. If you pass that test, if you will grab that opportunity and do that mitzvah, what will happen is you will thereby earn for yourself the merit to avoid that problem that would have otherwise, God forbid, been coming down for you. So that's a tremendous idea. You should never feel annoyed. Imagine somebody comes to your door and they ask you for tzedakah. Somebody approaches you and shows, look, if you have nothing to give, you have nothing to give. Somebody asks you for a ride. Somebody asks you for this or that. Think about it. It well may be from Shemayim. They might be saying, you know what? You need this. You need this chus, you need this merit, you need this opportunity, grab it, take advantage. If a person looks at opportunities to do good in such a fashion, you'll never be annoyed, chas v'shalom. You should never be annoyed. You should be grateful. And as you do that mitzvah, you do that kindness, you give somebody a ride, you do that person a favor, think, you should be doing it because this is what Hashem wants. But if you need the extra motivation, think, you know what? I may have just picked up a merit which may have saved me from the real problems that might have been, God forbid, coming down the highway of my life. And this is always the rule when it comes to doing chesed, to doing kindness or to giving charity, and all the other mitzvahs that the Jewish religion encourages us to give towards somebody else. It always works this way. It's always really more for you than the person you're trying to benefit. It's always for you. Look in the Torah. When Avram Avinu, when Abraham does chesed, he tries to do chesed all the time. If you look closely in the Torah, you see many times it doesn't even work. He tries to do something for somebody, he doesn't even land. Why? Because the act of doing kindness, it's really for you. He tries to feed the malachim. He tries to feed these, these three Arab nomads that come. He tries so hard to feed them. They didn't even need the food. They weren't even hungry. They were angels. They weren't people. He tries so hard to save Sadaim. It doesn't even work. 
When you get involved in a chesed, you're doing it really for you. It's really for your own benefit, irrespective of the effect it does or doesn't have on somebody else. When Hashem presents you the opportunity to do good, grab it, because you're the ultimate beneficiary. And lastly, I'll tell you, the word no ten, no, no sane, to give in the Torah, which is a nun, tough nun, is what we call a palindrome. A palindrome, for those of you who remember back from when you were in English class a long, long, long time ago, it's a word that is read this way and that way, backwards and forwards, the same. Nun taf nun, nun taf nun, both ways. The word to give is read both ways. It's the same word, because when you give, you get. It always flows back to you. Anyway, don't get annoyed when you have a chance to do chesed. Don't get annoyed when you have a chance to do a mitzvah. Try to resist the natural feeling and understand that from what the Toldus Yaakov Yosef says, this may be Hashem giving you a kiss and a present for something that could be a rescue, a rescue vessel to save you from a problem, God forbid, that could be coming your way. Thank you very much for checking in. Uh, I hope you're enjoying the short and sweet series. Please continue to check out the rest of them on TorahAnytime.com and I'll see you tomorrow. Thank you.